my topic tonight is the Open Meetings Act. I can see you're jumping up and down with the thought of it, but uh, uh, it's actually one of my favorites. I love the Open Meetings Act. Many people think that uh, uh, the concept of open meetings is somehow a new concept, and in Illinois it is not. The act in, in pretty much its current state has been the law of Illinois uh, for 50 plus years now. And there certainly have been some changes to it. There have been some uh, um, additions, uh, some fine tuning, uh, a couple of fairly major rewrites. But most of the act is pretty much what you would have seen in 1957. The public policy of the act is stated in section one of the act that it's the public policy of the state that public bodies exist to aid in the conduct of the people's business and that the people have a right to be informed as to the conduct of their business. So it is the public policy essentially that public bodies meet in the open subject only to limited exceptions uh, where closed meetings are allowed uh, and it's generally for either the protection of someone's privacy uh, or some matter that is sensitive uh, in a governmental sense. Uh, part of the act's thrust is not only that public bodies take action in open meetings, but also that they deliberate in open meetings. And so generally speaking, the deliberations of public bodies have to be conducted in the open uh, in accordance with the Open Meetings Act. Advance notice is part of the act's thrust. Uh, it doesn't do any good for public bodies to meet in the open if the public doesn't have notice of the fact that the public body is going to meet. So generally speaking, um, this is a general rule, but ordinarily at least 48 hours advance notice is required for regular and special meetings. Um, emergency meetings stand on a different footing simply because they are emergency matters. And often uh, we don't have 48 hours in which to arrange uh, for posting and the agenda, etc. What is a public body? I mean, you know, first of all, we need to know what it is the act applies to. And the definition of public body is a very broad one. It includes all legislative, executive, administrative, or advisory bodies of the state, counties, townships, cities, villages, incorporated towns, school districts, other municipal corporations, boards, bureaus, committees, or commissions of the state, uh, and subsidiary bodies of those public bodies. Uh, and that's whether or not they're supported by tax revenue. Um, so, the only exceptions really to uh, the thrust of the Open Meetings Act, the requirements of the Open Meetings Act, is the judiciary, and the judiciary does not act as a deliberative public body in the same sense that an executive body does. Uh, to the courts uh, are commended uh, uh, a variety of legal matters, again, uh, there are requirements in general that courts conduct their proceedings in the open, but they're not public bodies to which the Open Meetings Act would apply. The General Assembly is also accepted from the Open Meetings Act. Meetings, what's a meeting? Um, used to be a lot simpler definition than that, <clears throat> but a few years ago it was changed uh, in light of the uh, advances, I suppose, in technology, the core definition hasn't changed. Uh, a meeting is basically a gathering, uh, whether it's in person, by video audio conference, uh, telephone call, other electronic means, contemporaneous electronic means, uh, of a majority of a quorum of the members of the public body that's held for the purpose of discussing business. Generally speaking, public bodies require a quorum of the members to conduct business. If there is no statutory quorum or another quorum fixed, then it's ordinarily one member more than half of the members of the public body. Okay, when a quorum is present, the public body ordinarily can conduct business. Uh, and that only requires, ordinarily, unless there are other rules that are applicable, 
uh, that a majority of the quorum agree. If you got the three criteria present, and that is, you know, a meeting in some way, a gathering, whether it's in person or electronically or otherwise, of at least a majority of a quorum of a public body uh, at which the you know, public business of the public body is discussed, then you're going to meet the definition of a meeting. Once you meet the definition of a meeting, all of the requirements of the Open Meetings Act apply.